What's up, YouTubers? This is Dirk. Today, we are going to be replacing my catalytic converter in my 2002 Honda Accord EX. A couple things before we get started. I bought this from Advance. This is a Walker brand. I'll uh, put a link in the description to the parts that I got, but this is not the cheapest and it's not the most expensive one. I will note that there are two different kinds of gaskets. You see this one shaped more like a house and this one like a triangle. When you buy the gaskets, there's the part number for that one. Should have done that. That's the one that looks like a house. Sorry. And that one for the triangle. And of course, you'll just be putting them on their respective side. I'm gonna get the car up on the jack stands and we'll get started. Okay, what we have right here is the oxygen sensor, which is a little, little bit of a pain in the butt to take out. This side is the house-shaped gasket. It'll just fit on like that. This side right here is a triangle. Take my little crow's foots here. Woohoo! I'm in luck. Okay. So, oh, that was not too hard at all. I don't know how much this is supposed to be twisting, but it doesn't. Okay. So carefully get my arm <laughs> can't get my left arm up there but okay so that right there is the oxygen sensor just for right now I'm going to kind of tuck it and try try to tuck it without damaging it tuck it out of the way now I won't accidentally hit it because I am saving this heat shield there are a couple of bolts here. Give me a second. So, oh, as you can see, it just spins, but it is not free, so whatever, stupid heat shield. <sighs> okay. Now I have to take these off, and I'm just going to spray them right now because they look horrible. Those are half millimeter bolts.
Well, that's awesome. Hopefully you can see I just sheared off the tip. Well, that's a lifetime warranty for you. That'll be used here in just a second. Okay, so I started this at noon and I was in my garage. As you can tell, I am not in my garage anymore. The uh, stinking catalytic converter, the bolts were so rusted. So here's what we're looking at. We had one, two, three, four, five, six bolts to get through and it would not come off it's still hot. It would not come off at all. You can see the amount of rust. Focus in on this. You can see the amount of rust on these. And these bolts are not made to uh, to come off. It was, it was quite difficult. So I I went to advance. I got the right kind of bolts and I was able to pry off two back at my house. I was able to pry off two of these nuts and uh, figure out what kind of size I would need. However, and that's, that's how I know I've sized these correctly, but this tool, whoops, in my pocket, this tool is what saved my life. So this is a little Irwin uh, adapter and you hammer it on. So it hammered onto the end of the nut like that because these are all rounded off. I spent four hours underneath my car today. Anyway, so you, with the old nut on, you hammer that on and then we were able to just break it free. So the guys at Advance were super nice. And uh, at this point, now I'm gonna take, again, keeping my, keeping the plug for my oxygen sensor. I'm, uh, I'm gonna put this in now, but clearly. So, yeah, another thing is it's good to have a friend with a lift. Sometimes you can't and you just, and it kind of sucks, but this is what I was talking about. Um, in a house, in a house, yeah, a triangle and a triangle. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need two hands here. Just gonna slide it up with the gaskets. Put the bolts through and tighten it up. Okay, so this is, uh, I didn't have time to film when I was at my friend's house. He uh, had to get me uh, off of his lift pretty quick. <clears throat> so I came home and uh, this is a completed catalytic converter. You can see the, uh, well you can see two of the three bolts on that side and two of the three bolts on that side. But um, I wish, you know, quick lesson learned, I wish I would have realized right off the bat that this catalytic converter came with its own heat shield. Would have saved me whew, all that agonizing junk in the middle. Um, it's pretty foolish of me not to see that. So depending on the product that you buy, just be aware that you might not even need to go through the hassle of keeping the old heat shield, which means you can remove it, um, you know, a lot, uh, a lot differently and just not, not worry about it. All right, had a, uh, had a chance to uh, think about final lessons learned here after I showered. Uh, the right tools make all the difference. Obviously, if you, um, if you have a lift or a friend with a lift, do that, it's about a 10 minute job. Um, take a look at those bolts. If they're all rusted off like mine were, just go and, and buy that, you know, grip bolt removal thing uh, kit from Irwin. It's a solid investment, it's like 30 bucks. And uh, surely you'll come across some other rusted up bolt sometime in your life if you do DIY mechanical stuff. Uh, other than that, um, you know, it's a fairly easy for at least a 2002 Honda Accord EX. You know, this is a very simple fix, but uh, hopefully this video helped you guys uh, save some money. And 
You can now check off another thing on your list. Peace.